Today I want to unbox and show you guys how to lock out the MSD equivalent distributor from Summit Racing. This is for your 385 series engines, so 460, 429, 351M, 400, um, those guys. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the Summit billet equivalent to what the MSD is. And it will also run MSD cap and rotors, so part number 842211 right there. So open this guy up. It's pretty well packed. Let's see what this guy looks like. This looks almost exactly like the MSD Pro billet, which it's supposed to be. It's copycat so that's under split and why it's a two wire pickup which is what I need and the reason I'm going to be locking this guy out today is that um, I'm going to be running a timing timing control on my Phytech fuel injection so if you guys get one of these and need to lock it out hopefully we can explain it so first thing you want to do is take the cap off there's the cap and the rotor. Rotor needs to come off also. I'll be changing this out to the MSD rotor because the MSD rotor is a phaseable rotor and you can manually advance and retard the timing just with your rotor and that's what Phytech recommends so we will be doing that. Okay so first things first we need to remove these springs so I need to get something to do that. Okay, we'll get these springs removed. Also, just for reference, this kit comes with multiple spring rates. So if you need different timing rates, that is available with this distributor. But we're locking it out and we're not going to use the springs. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these guys. Take these off. And probably throw them in the drawer because we're not going to need them anymore pull them off. This should allow my weights to come off. So there's one. Whoops. Don't need that. Hopefully don't need that. Here's your secondary weight. You can see this right here. So it should come right off. Next thing we're going to do is I think that is a 9 millimeter right down in here. So let me go grab one of those. Okay. I lied. It is a 7 millimeter. So you want to get down in here that guy and whoops I'm loose hand there we go oops don't want to lose that okay let's not lose that next what we need to do is we need to come down here there, cover off our gear and this roll pin right here, we're going to need to press it out. Okay, so what we're going to do to press this out, get my stuff out of the way here, get the weights, so even though I don't need those. Got a chunk of wood here. I'm going to set it on the chunk of wood so I don't beat up my bill of aluminum. And a small punch, and we're going to get this roll pin punched out. Oops, don't want to lose that. Okay, now that this roll pins out, should be able to pull our punch out. We should be able to take this, I'm gonna do it on the wood so I don't flatten or mushroom the end of my distributor. I'm gonna go like this and give it a good smack. And what that did was that unseated, you can see this used to sit flat up against this collar. Okay, now that your bottom's pushed up, you're going to take this guy and rotate it 180 degrees and drop that pin right back down in this hole you can see here. So you can see one side has a full on slot bigger hole over here. Sorry, the lighting's not very good. And this side's just got a small hole. So you're going to take this pin, rotate 180 degrees, and drop it right down in that hole. 
and then reinstall your net back onto the bottom of that. You can slide this up and out of there while your uh, retaining collar is still loose. Get this started on here nice and straight. Oops. Okay, we got that all snugged up. Now we want to slide this back down and slide our retaining collar back up and reinstall our roll pin. So we'll get that all lined up properly. Knock that back in there flush. And there we go, now it's locked out. Now you can um, throw these weights and springs in the drawer just in case for some reason you ever want to use them. I'm going to reinstall your cap. In this case, I'm not going to put the stock cap back on. I want to put the MSD48211 cap back on. And the reason I'm doing that, it's the adjustable rotor. Not cap, I'm sorry. It's a rotor. Put the cap back on eventually, too. Um, and this guy, if you look closely, has... Let's see, where are they at? They're right here. And there are little hash marks. And you can undo the screw and rotate your rotor to advance or retard your timing and you set your pre-advance on the Phytec for that so pull this out they've got their little card here so you can look up which one it is uh, this is the four oh eight four two eleven check your tang height it's acceptable rotor should only go on one direction think yes oh and this rotor we have to pull the top off that's kind of annoying I think they'd make that adjustable without having to pull that off but I guess not there we go we'll reinstall our rotor Put that guy right back on. And you're gonna sell your cap. Okay, and that's how you lock out the MSD wannabe Summit Racing distributor. It's I'm really impressed with the quality of it. It's built aluminum, seems solid, has really good reviews online. Only thing that people complain about is the little roll pin that holds the lower gear on. Um, people say that you should replace that with a heavier duty roll pin, which it looks like a little sheet metal roll pin, so I'll probably end up doing that. It's got several other options that I'm not going to be using. If you're using the timing advanced options on it, it's got four different options to lock out your total timing so you can stop it at a certain amount of advanced timing. It's got four different options for that. It has three different options for spring rates for how fast that timing comes in. It, all the rotors and caps you could buy the MSD rotors and caps that are compatible with it so I'm locking mine out for my Phytech um, fuel injection system that I'm trying to get on the truck so that the computer can read it and yeah we'll see how it works so that's how you lock this out hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos coming up I'm excited how many people are subscribing and hopefully we can get those numbers up so have a good day and go build something guys